Good morning, Camp Mishawana. We're back. I'm Larry Canary here with Sherry Merriweather. And uh, well, it sure is good to see you again, campers. Every day when I wake up here, I can't believe I get to spend another day here. Mm -hmm. And today we'll be filled with even more fun than yesterday. If you haven't been to our handcraft yet, we recommend trying it out and seeing just how crafty you are. Some of our latest projects are waiting for you. Just so you know, your first craft is free, and if you choose to do more, you can just tell them your Trading Pros number and they'll take the very low price out of your account. If you're going for your M Award, you need to complete a craft, as well as do all high adventures, archery, finish your Bible work, and bonus verse, and win a lot of points. I said points! Yeah, there we go. To be the top competitor in your age bracket. Later this week, we'll show you some track and swim meet highlights as PAL and Pioneer campers race it out to see who will win gold. Oh, we're getting breaking news here. Our Mount Zion football star is still in the hospital. We're following the story of a young man who collapsed after last night's practice. More on the scene, Barry Zanders is still on scene waiting to report. Barry? What a heartwarming story, Larry. Mm -hmm. To think that someone would give up themselves for someone else who's actually going against them? You just don't hear things like this anymore. Not very often, Sherry. I'm telling you, it is life-changing. In fact, ever since I joined the team, I'm living my life for eternity. Eternity? My motto is YOLO. Well, mine is YODO. You only die once. I'm living again in heaven. Here. Watch the Lifeguard Your Heart segment to see what I mean. Life, guard your heart moment, where we talk about our main goal, guarding life. Yes, we are here to look good and bring order to the beach, but as our job title suggests, we are here to protect life and to respond in emergencies that would threaten someone's life. It's very important. You often see life printed on our equipment, ambulances, and more surrounding medical personnel. It is there for two reasons. One, so we know what to grab. Two, to remind us what we're really about, life, which stands for living it for eternity. It is important to be trained in first aid, water rescues, and when to call 911. Don't forget, 911 in an emergency, pray for nine minutes, then read for 11. Unless someone is bleeding or not breathing, then call the paramedics while you pray. As I was saying, it is important that we are trained for these things, but more important is to remember how short this life is compared to eternity. Think of it this way, if this whole rescue line is eternity, this little part right here is all that our life here on earth is. That's a tiny amount compared to the rest of eternity. It's easy to get caught up caring about what matters right now, but a lot of things seem really important to us, like having friends, feeling good, or looking good. But in the grand scheme of things, this physical temporary life is very short. When you see life, think live in it for eternity and ask yourself, does this decision affect me or someone else for eternity? When you start to base your reactions and decisions on eternity, it really changes the way you think, talk, and live. If you have life in Christ through God's grace, like Ephesians 2, 4 through 5 talks about, then the things that once seemed important in this world, like fitting in, getting rich, getting good grades, or having fun, won't matter to you as much. Obeying God and spreading the gospel will start to matter more, because those things are the things that actually count in eternity. That's what life is really about. That being said, it's important to do your best, finish your homework, and keep people safe. After all, we are life guards. And that's why we always say, Christ is first and safety, safety is second. second. And breathing is optional. Living it for eternity, that does seem more meaningful. It's the only thing that makes sense. The rest is all temporary. Temp, 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 temp temporary. We'll be back with more stories after these messages from our sponsors. <laughs> Number one, please. I think that'll do it. That's, I mean, I've got everything I need. I'm on Mission Wanted Out. Got my bands, my jumpsuit, my lanyard, backpack. I mean, what else could I need? Have you heard of the everything tarp? The everything tarp? What is that? Well, the everything tarp can suit any need. A carpet, it could be a toga, it could be a yoga mat, a tent, a blanket, and even toilet paper. Mm, but like when I'm in a bind at the bivouac. Yeah. 
this could come in handy. Oh, okay, hey. What do you what do you got for um like like underwear? Well you don't have any of those. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? This'll work. Okay. There you go. Sweet. Thank you. And we're back with more from the CMP news station. Finally, a look at a local act of kindness. A local man named Doug dug a dugout for a little league team called the Gophers. They say, we dig it. It's great to see citizens reaching out and lending a helping hand. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth. But before we sign out for today, we have our on-site reporter, Mary Shearyweather, live on... Well, this, this is from like Bible times, right? So technically it's not like live anymore, right? Yeah, but they're on screen now, so... But is it live? Like the book of Ephesians was written like 62 years after Jesus was on earth. And over to you, Between the Lines Bible segment. Thank you, Mary, for that update. She's so nice, isn't she? Yes, she is, Sherry. Well, that seems to be it for today's broadcast. A reminder to all Crusaders that tonight is the bivouac. Make sure to pack your toothbrush, pajamas, long pants, flashlights, and sleeping bags. You're sure to have a great time. Plan on meeting your counselors by the dining hall this afternoon. Check with them for time specifics. And the rest of the campers will be enjoying a birthday night celebration here in the chapel. Always a good time. Hmm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yes, me too. Thanks for tuning in to CMP News 20. I'm Sherry Merriweather. And I'm Larry Canary. Good, good day, day Mishawana. Mishawana.